And before we get started into today's video, a little Iron Man update for you all. So I accidentally deleted a little bit of footage for this update, but there's our third Hispori kill. Uh, hopefully gonna get that compost bucket soon. I only have about six Hispori seeds left in the bank, so I do need to get more of those. All right, where's my duplicate rangers? Oh, it's green, but not the green that I want to see. What do we get from the hard one? All right, that's a better shade of green there. Green, or sorry, Guthix dehyde chaps. Those will be used for something and another unique the red dehyde body and from the elite clue not the best it is nice to see our 10th elite though but here's another hispori kill don't mind the username change this was just for a failed attempt at a new video but uh, i did change it back now so we're good there celestra c not too bad never did these trees on my main account but i've been loving them on the iron man 89 farming coming in from the mahogany trees that i planted on fossil island really looking forward to 90 farming i am completely out of supplies for it i've just been doing herb and limp root runs but uh, uh, still have a little bit of trees left. There's another Hispori. This is KC number five. So eventually I'll get 90 farming. I think I'm like 80k away. So probably in the next loot video I'll have it. Got a nice hard achievement task there with a Hispori. And if you guys missed it in my last clip of my BH video that I posted on my main, I did get the pet Kraken on the Iron Man account. So that's awesome. I'll take it. Using the last of my herbs here to get the final herb lore level that I'll probably be at for quite a while. This is 92. It's going to be a long time until I stack the herbs for 93, but very nice to achieve that. Definitely have to do Dragon Slayer 2 soon. In my last loot video, 3,000 Ancient Zygomites, I did get 91 and 92 agility, and here is 93. Not bad. Six away from 99. Little uh, superior here, Greater Abyssal Demon, still pretty far away from a Slayer level, and still missing the Imbued Heart, but I'll take the totems. And from the hard clue scroll that I got from that task, I did receive another collection log slot that orbital page probably useless because i already have the book full but i'll take the unique and that's our final hispori for now i'll be checking in with you guys on the next loot video with another three to five but hello you guys what is going on mr no sleep here welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today today i bring you guys a pretty strange one this is going to be loot from 1000 necromancers now this is a tricky monster to kill because there are surrounding zombies and dark warriors that will constantly attack you for at least 15 minutes before they become on aggro and then you can just focus on killing the necromancer. I decided to kill these necromancers just west of the Arceus bank because not only is it close to a bank but there's a spawn of two of them here as you can see one that's a little bit south of that uh, pillar thing and then one that's directly north of it. Now as you can see you really can't stop these zombies and dark warriors from attacking you. You just have to deal with it until they become on aggro and then they'll stop attacking you until you decide to bank or leave the area. There is another spawn of the Necromancer that is way west of here, uh, but it's only one spawn and you still have to deal with the surrounding monsters, so I decided that this was the best spot, also because it's close to a bank. Gear for this video, simple set of black dehyde because you are going to be dealing with earth blast the whole time, and just bring your best weapon along with a little bit of food and some inventory space to pick up all the loot. Super combat helps too, but it's not necessary. So these Necromancers were released into the game June June 16th, 2021. The max hit of them is 7 and they're 80 HP. So this monster's only been covered one time on YouTube by a guy who did loot from 100. Shout out to that guy for actually going through with that video because uh, that's the only place you can really find them uh, other than just the old school RuneScape wiki. There's not much to say about this monster. Uh, they're just found outside of Shazian as well as Lovakenj and Arceus and they are accompanied by zombies and dark warriors. They attack using magic and they can use weaken. So your strength level will go down. That's why it's nice to bring a super combat or a super set, depending on what you have access to. But again, uh, really no problem hitting something that's such low HP and such low defense. Now, because of all the zombies and the dark warriors that constantly interrupt you while you're trying to kill the necromancer, as well as all the level two medium clue scroll drops that you're gonna get here, I was only able to average about 105 kills an hour. So this video with the clues involved as well took just about 10 10 hours to complete and uh what fascinated me about this monster is that i've never heard of it before and someone left a comment on a video probably about two months ago asking me if i could kill it uh it's this monster and another monster in the game called chaos golem that i'm very unfamiliar with so i wanted to do a quick video on them um originally i was going to kill 3000 but i did 3000 ancient zygomites and uh i just felt like that was a little overkill i think a thousand would 
would have been good enough, you know, good representation of the loot. So I didn't want to overdo it with this, especially since you guys probably aren't going to be killing this monster anytime soon, unless you're like an Arceus locked account or something like that, or maybe you're a low level Iron Man. I mean, it's really hard to tell what would make someone or what would motivate someone rather to kill this monster. As you can see in the inventory, I didn't bank the runes that the Necromancer dropped the whole entire time because that's the main drop from this monster. Other than the runes, you can expect a normal normal staff, not a battle staff unfortunately, just normal, as well as 10 to 50 coins at a time, and of course a few talismans, those being air, water, earth, and fire. Now there is one upside, they do drop the medium clue scroll at 1 and 128, so I should end with at least 10 clue scrolls if I'm lucky enough. I was grinding on a few accounts during this one, there's some rune dragons on the main and some NMZ on the pure. Luckily you can AFK these necromancers pretty easily, so there is that benefit. It. I would say the highlight of this monster would be the medium clue scroll 1 and 128. Uh, we are gathering up as many caskets as we can and occasionally I will get a Renar or a decent herb from a zombie or a dark warrior kill. I don't really go out of my way to pick those up though because this is really just to focus on the necromancer himself but it is nice to occasionally get a useful herb so uh, you know you'll see that in the bank occasionally. Now we're about 300 kills into the video. You can kind of tell how this is going just based on the amount of runes in the inventory there. So not that many death or blood runes. I would say the natures and cosmics as well as the law are pretty generous for such a low level monster. But again, you know, just to kill 300, you're going to, you know, you're going to have to spend three hours here to get the amount of runes that you see in the inventory there. So I don't really know if that's worth it, even for a low level account that doesn't really have much access to any other monster. It's kind of sad to say, but I think the most unique thing and the coolest thing about the Necromancer is its name, its graphics, and its environment. You know, it looks really intimidating. I mean, this thing is like six foot seven with antlers on and uh, yeah, just such a massive monster. It's dressed like a farmer and you know, you don't know what's going on in this surrounding area. All sorts of zombies and warriors. There's a skull on the ground that never disappears. And it's just a very gloomy lit area. So I love this area personally, you know, it makes for good uh, intros and outros, but I don't really know if uh, this monster is ever going to quite make it onto a moneymaker list or even, you know, anything unique about it to mention. There's just not anything to say. So, I mean, I don't know. I really do uh, enjoy killing things that I've never killed before and exploring areas that I've never explored before. But this is just another monster that goes on that long list of mine that has potential, but they need to update it somehow, some way. And I don't really think Jagex is going to go out of their way to do that anytime soon. But on the upside, they drop medium clues and you always have a chance to make, you know, a quick 30, 40 mil if you hit ranger boots from any monster that you killed that drops a medium clue so there is that otherwise we're just gathering a ton of runes and the talismans of course weren't really worth picking up same with the normal staves but this is a loot video so i'll just drop them after i record this i uh, just you know i gotta show something in the price check and also the dark warriors occasionally drop medium clues too so it is a benefit to leave your auto retaliate on and just get those out of the way while you're waiting for them to unaggro you so that you can just focus on the necromancer that is if you decide to kill him because after watching this video i don't know how convinced convincing uh, it would be to go kill this monster after you see the price check here. Well, there we have it. Loot from a thousand has been completed and now it is time for the price check. This should be a quick one and then we'll go ahead and open up those clues. All right, so in 10 hours after killing approximately a thousand, I did make about 423k and 99% of that profit comes in the form of the runes that they drop. Also got a little bit of Renars from the Dark Warriors, but nothing too crazy. So now it's time to open up these clue casts. All right, 4k from the first one, 14k from the second, and from our 200th medium, we get 21k. I uh, got a master clue, which I had to drop on step number three. A few collection log pieces. We got the adamant helm and a uh, page, but I already had that book filled. Coming in with a black boater as well as some teleports and some alcables. Oh, this is not looking as good as it was in the last video. Uh, a couple caskets left here. Just a lot of adamant items that I thought I already had, but I guess I didn't. So we'll get to high alk and all that after. Well, unfortunately, only 270k from the medium clues, but it is extra GP. Uh, this took about 10 to 11 hours to complete because I was AFKing quite a bit. So I probably could have got it done a little bit quicker. Overall, though, here is the Rune Light Loot Tracker, 932k 
made total, um, but I didn't pick up everything from the Dark Warriors or the Zombies. But yeah, I hope you guys learned something new today about this monster, and I want to say a big thank you to you all for watching today's video. Thank you to the very loyal YouTube channel members. Some of you guys have some pretty impressive month streaks there, with a special shout out to Matthew Stivers and Angel's Blood. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you soon with another one. Mr. No Sleep, out.